it's here. This is actually my second attempt at getting one of these. A um, couple weeks ago, I found a guy on, on uh, Facebook uh, how to use one for sale and it was in Houston. Houston's about a four hour drive from here so we talked out a deal and then on my way down there about an hour away he messaged me and then told me he's backing out of the deal. So f***ing lame. The whole point of me coming down to Houston was I was gonna buy one wheel from this guy. Well we had a deal going on I just drove three f***ing hours and then he tells me he's backing out of the deal because his brother's giving him the money pissed me off. Yeah, I was pretty pissed about it. Not just because I didn't get it, but because I wasted two days. One day driving all the way down to Houston, and then another day just shooting clips for the video. So I ended up with two days of video clips that I couldn't use because the video had no ending. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Alright, first time on a one wheel. I didn't read the instructions or anything. I've only seen people ride them online. Let's see how it goes. I can't stop riding this thing. This thing is so much freaking fun. So this is a one wheel. I don't know how to really describe this thing. This thing is like a cross between a skateboard and maybe like a street snowboard. You got this metal platform here and then you got two foot pads and in the middle you, got, you have a go-kart tire and the motor of this thing is housed inside the hub of this go-kart tire. So on this end of the foot pad, you see this blue line and on either sides of these blue lines, there are two sensor pads. To activate the one wheel to engage the gyro and the motor and everything, both of these uh, pressure sensors have to be engaged. Don't laugh at me. I couldn't find my helmet, so I'm wearing my wife's helmet and it's a little bit too small. It's better than nothing. I can't afford to break my head. <laughs> This is how you ride the one wheel. Put one foot here, and then your other foot needs to go on both sides of this uh, of these sensors. And then when you step on that, everything will be activated and ready to go. I've wanted something like this for a long time. Ever since two years ago when I went to the I.O. Uh, the International Open, I think 2017. I saw these people riding around on these uh, electric skateboards and I thought they were super cool. And ever since then, it's kind of planted like a little seed in my head that I wanted something something like this. A little um, electric, portable, I don't know, transportation device that'll get me around. So I started doing research on different kinds of electric, um, I guess, like means of transportation. Um, I looked at electric skateboards like the Boosted Board or um, the Evolve skateboards or even like a custom built uh, Trampa board. But I decided to go with a one wheel because even though the electric skateboards are super cool, I feel like the one wheels are more versatile. Like you can go over more stuff. I feel like the biggest problem with the electric skateboards is that they run on basically skateboard wheels. So that means you have to be very careful when you ride over um, like rocks or cracks in the road like I'm doing now. 
whereas a one wheel it's basically one big like go-kart tire so you never really have to worry about rocks you can just roll over them like nothing and the one wheels they can go like off-road like real off-road yeah the electric skateboards they have um like what they call like off off-road or all-terrain tires they're but they're basically just like a bigger um, roller skate wheel I mean you can do some off-road on it but it's very limited on the type of off-road you can do you could maybe go over like some light grass or maybe some gravel and stuff but these one wheels can really go uh, anywhere I mean I've seen these people I've seen people take these things up like mountains and stuff Smells like pee in there. So ever since I got my one wheel about three days ago, it's been raining nonstop. And today was the only day where the rain kind of let up. So I'm taking the advantage of the weather to come out here and do a quick video. Cause the, um, for the rest of the week, the weather is gonna be crappy again. So even with the bad weather, I've managed to put about 50 miles on this thing in between rain breaks or um, if it's still raining i still i just go like in a parking garage and go ride around this thing is so freaking addicting at first when i got on this thing it was really it was really weird because i've never really ridden anything like this so it took me about i'd say about five miles or so to get to really get used to this thing i mean i've ridden skateboards and snowboards in the past but uh, one wheel is really not like either of those if it's close to anything I would say it's close to a snowboard so the way you operate a one wheel is very similar to a snowboard on this thing you if you want to go forward you lean forward if you want to go uh, slow down or stop you just lean back if you want to turn left you just kind of lean left if you want to turn right just lean right one of the things I love most about this one wheel is that it can go over anything and you can go anywhere. Just at being at a place like this, like downtown Fair Park, is the perfect place to ride these one wheels. Alright, check this out. <laughs> Almost made it. I'm still learning on this thing. Alright, let's go. I gotta go off some off-road. Ah! So you would never be able to do something like this on a Evolve or a Boosted board. That's why I freaking love this one wheel. Woo. So this is downtown Fair Park. This is where they have the state park every year. Check this out. Watch out, there's some cow poop on the ground. Oh, 
So the one wheel does have an app that goes with it. On the app, you can see how much power you have left, the mileage you've gone, the total mileage that's, that's on the one wheel, and then regen. Regen is, say if you're going downhill and your motor's not running, but the tire is still spinning, it, uh, that motion will charge the battery. And then you got different modes. You can set the the one wheel. Sequoia is like the I guess like the basic one, and it tunes the I guess this is kind of like um, preset pids. And this one has got a max speed of 12 miles per hour. Play with the aggressiveness. This one's the one I'm currently running, which is cruise, and it's going a uh, max mile per hour is 15. And then there's other modes where you can go faster or or, or tune how aggressive the the one wheel rides. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always liked to explore places. The one wheel is the perfect thing that lets you explore a lot of place in a short period of time. The one wheel has a safety feature called kickback. If you're going too fast or beyond the limit of the motor can keep up, or if you're exceeding the speed limit of the current mode you're riding in, the board will start leaning back to slow you down automatically. So the one wheels are not cheap by any means. There's currently two versions of one wheels. There's a one wheel plus, which I think goes for about 1200 bucks, and then there's an XR, which goes for, I think, 1800 So as far as I know, they both have the same motor. The difference is the battery. The Plus has a range of, I think, seven miles, versus the XR has a range of, I think, 12 to 18 miles. So, one wheels, are they expensive? Yeah, definitely. Are they fun? Hell yeah. I can't remember the last time I had so much fun on anything. Are they hard to ride? Not really. When you first get on it, it is a really awkward feeling. But after about mm, five miles, you really pick it up. It's really intuitive. I feel like the less you think about how to actually operate the thing and go by more like a feeling, it, it's much easier. Because if you kind of overthink it, it, it makes it like a harder thing to do but if you just kind of go with the flow and just go with the feeling then it's much easier so thanks for watching and uh don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace